Hi, I'm Dr. David Smith, sleep researcher, assistant professor, and board certified sleep medicine specialist treating sleep and circadian conditions. So the circadian rhythm is a natural internal clock that regulates your sleep-wake cycle. And although we have a central clock that exists in the brain, circadian clocks exist in every organ throughout the body. And they basically prepare your body to exercise, eat, digest, and even sleep at specific times of the day. So your exposure to light during the day keeps you awake and active, while at nighttime your body produces melatonin, which actually prompts you to go to sleep. Melatonin helps maintain your body's circadian rhythm and natural sleep-wake cycles. And so when your cycle's working at its best, you feel tired around the same time each night, and you actually wake up at the same time each morning. Many things can actually disrupt your circadian rhythm. And so when your circadian rhythm is disrupted, your sleep cycle can actually um, be negatively impacted. And it leads to problems like difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, sleeping at the appropriate times, and even feeling tired through the day. Um, several things we know can interfere with your circadian rhythm. Um, common disruptions, for example, include uh, things like not following a consistent sleep schedule, staying up later than usual, sleeping in on weekends, um, taking long naps, especially in the afternoon, uh, close to when you would naturally be going to bed anyway. A disrupted circadian rhythm can leave you feeling groggy when you wake up, um, and it can actually make you uh, restless at night and make it harder to sleep. To maintain a healthy circadian rhythm, um, really the most important thing is following good sleep hygiene. And so that's um, having exposure to natural light during the day before bed, and then avoiding um, blue light from screens, uh, electronic devices, you know, phones, computers, TVs. They basically confuse your body's internal clock and even change the levels of melatonin that are secreted. And studies have shown that daylight is a very important sort of regulator of our circadian rhythm. It basically coordinates our body's activities to the appropriate time of day so that we're doing um, what our body is anticipating at the, appropriate time, at the appropriate time of the day. So sticking to a consistent sleep schedule at night is really important. This allows uh, the body to have plenty of time for quality sleep. Um, and I also uh, recommend um, having about seven to eight hours of sleep a night for most adults. Um, but that's variable for children depending on how old you are. As we age, changes in the production of certain hormones can influence the timing and also the quality of sleep that we get at night. Uh, and this probably explains why some older adults, usually those in their 60s to 80s, um, can have sleep-wake schedules that are shifted earlier, making them more likely to be what we call a morning lark. But regardless of age or whether you're at your best late at night or early in the morning, it's really important that you have a good and consistent bedtime routine um, that can help you get the restful sleep that you need.